girls flag football is growing like crazy. It will be a high school sport in San Diego starting next school year. Now, this has been building for years, especially in North County, where one league was kind of the first to see the influx of girls on the football field. Ten years ago, Friday Night Lights in the Carlsbad area had about 20 girls playing in their flag football league. And now we have 10% of the league, so a little over 200 girls are playing flag football, and it's fun to watch. I'll say it's fun to watch, and it's happening on a level playing field. It's not just girls versus girls teams. It's girls playing against boys and playing well. You go, girls. I've seen the girls' fifth and sixth grade division champion win conference championships. I've seen uh, these these groups of girls with high ponies um, and and matching ensembles dominate boys. Yeah, they come out with pigtails and uh, looking uh, more like girls. Yeah. You know, cute little little young things running around, and then all of a sudden they're up by four touchdowns because they're just so fast and explosive. Sometimes it's more than four touchdowns. What was the score of your game? 44 0 Big wins by girls' teams are actually pretty common, and so are big time highlights. Everywhere you look, you see girls flying around, pulling flags, throwing bombs, taking it to the end zone, and some, like eight year old Kalea Rom, even have their own plays. Well, normally we call it Kalea Special. Well, the center hikes it to the quarterback, and then they pitch it back to me, and then I, I can choose to run or throw. Sometimes I like to fake throw and then run. I just ran, and they didn't, they didn't pull my flag, so then I just kept running, went past the touchdown. Of course, touchdowns are preferred, but these girls have plenty of football favorites. Throwing a touchdown, pulling a flag, getting a pick six, probably scoring touchdowns, and you get to beat a lot of the boys. <laughs> Beating the boys, changing mindsets, breaking down gender barriers. Those are things you hear a lot from these fantastic female footballers. I say I like beating the guys about it. I also like showing that girls do know how to play football and not just guys and that we can play like them. Do you guys hear anything from the boys when you're on the field? Do they oh, think yeah. they're going to beat you? Oh, they, trash they're like, like, they, they think they're trash, trash talk. talk. <laughs> they trash talk us, but then we end up beating yeah, them. Yeah. yeah. Feels really good, yeah, I mean, especially a score the best against that kid who's talking smack. <laughs> yeah, the best part is not only the boys say it, but the dads say it. So when you smoke the boys, the dads get even more pissed, so it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really fun. fun. Yeah. Now, when I told some of the younger teams about girls' flag football being a high school sport, there were smiles and excitement. Yeah. But for the older girls who have spent years growing the sport, it's a meaningful, powerful pigskin progression. I think it's awesome because, like, it's about time, honestly, that we get out there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's super cool. That's it's such a, like a, a male-run sport that it's finally coming to women and ladies, and it'll be super awesome just to represent and kind of take it to a new level and just inspire younger generations and carry the. Um, I guess generation on, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go girls football! Yeah! <laughs> Those girls are fun and they're good. Now, one interesting note, many of the girls also play competitive soccer or volleyball, and many say flag football is less serious but way more fun. One even called it her chill sport, so it's fun, and that's the whole point. Look for flag football in local high school football fields this fall.